Hi everyone, it's Sean here. Uh, my first tutorial since I got my microphone. Just a quick one just to show you the, the most important and the first step in bringing my art from the sketchpad to the computer so that I can paint and edit it. Now, as you can see, this is just a photo that I took on my iPhone from my sketchpad. Um, it still has soy sauce and coffee and uh, bits of eraser shavings. Um, it hasn't been lined. This is just a pencil, which is bad by me. If you ink it, it's a lot easier to 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 get your image off the paper. Now, uh, in this, basically, what we want to do is remove the the sketch pad itself from the image. We just want to keep our sketch lines. Now, there's loads of different ways to do this, but I just thought that I think the quickest and easiest is this particular method. It's really quick. Um, just takes two seconds. Now, basically, what we're going to do first is just lighten the picture. So we press Control and L. Sorry, Control and L. This is using Photoshop, by the way. And so we move the white down to get rid of as much as we can. It's pretty good. If you go too far, you lose everything. So just be careful so you can see some lines. That's pretty good. Um, it's still pretty dark down here, but we'll, we should be fine. Now, what we want to do is use a smart tool. Uh, the smart tool is able to select shapes. Oh, keeper, sorry. The smart, the magic wand is able to get shapes. Um, so, let's select different parts. Now, there's lots of very complicated ways to do this, but I, I find that the results of this is just as good, if not better. So, we have unlocked our layer anyway, right? So, what we want to do is press Control, Alt, and 2 to select all our lines. Very good. Excellent. Then we want to go down here and lock transparent pixels. Okay. And then press backspace. And voila. Everything's gone. Now, this, because I haven't inked it, it's very faint, but it's actually very usable. So we'll just create a new layer. Sorry, just one sec. Just to show you, we'll call it background. File new layer. Put it at the back. We'll fill it with white. And there you can see that the sketch pad is gone. The soy sauce is gone. And we can paint. So we can create new layers. I'll go into layers and painting in a later video. This is just to show you. Um, so now we have a transparent layer, which is just our lines that we Basically, we paint under. Your lines will stay on top just to guide you for the rest of the picture. So this is our color layer, which we can call, sorry, which we can call skin. And I would start with the skin uh, first. Let's just say. Paint away. It's lovely skin. And you can see we're going underneath the lines, you see. There, so we're coloring skin. We'll just do it very quickly right his skin, and we can do a new layer for his hair. Because the hair is on top of your skin. Oh my god. Hair. Right. Harry, so above your skin. Just choose his crazy red hair. See, now we're painting over that. It's fine. But that skin still stays there, you know. So you build up layers and layers and layers. And we'll do clipping masks in a later video. But basically, that's it. That's how you see. The lines are a transparent, separate layer that we can use for our picture. And it's just so quick and easy. That's the, the thing I like about it. There's loads of other ways using multiply and and loads of loads of other methods and this one's just as good. I don't see the big deal. It's pretty good. Now so if you want to see how I do it from the start, we'll just go through it quickly again. Let's go back. Sorry, we'll just 
No, I don't want to save the changes. We'll just look. So I've opened my image. I don't know why that's there, but anyway. So wonderful. We want to control L. Bring the light down as much as we can. We can still see the lines. Beautiful. Control R2. Selecting everything. Control R2. And we want to lock transparent pixels. See here. Down here, lock transparent pixels. Tick. Backspace. Deselect. And there we have it. Sketchpad is uh, gone. It's now a transparent, lovely layer. So now we can create a new layer. On a background. Blah blah. Whatever. Spell it correctly. Fill. So yeah, that's how I do it. Um, like this one now is faded a bit because I didn't ink it. So you lose a little bit of the color, of course. Uh, but I think that's a pretty good effect. And it's perfect for cartoon work. Now if you were like really professional, you need the exact colors and there was no bleeds and just so perfect, then there's other ways to do it. But this way is really quick, easy, and really effective. It's perfect. It's nigh on perfect, you know, and you can still you know, still remove anything you don't like. Okay. I have pencil shavings are gone. Maybe the extras around a bit of the rock there I don't want. So yeah, that's it. Um I hope we hope it was useful. So control L levels. Do 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 control L two do do block transparent pixels backspace deselect and you're done, basically. Okay. So one more time, Control L, Levels, K, Control L2, Lock Transparent Pixels, Backspace, Deselect, New Layer, Background, Drag it down. Always keep your lines on top. Fill with pink if you want. You can fill pink. Bring it up. And done. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll do clipping masks and how to paint and everything in a separate video. I just thought that was a, it's a really handy one, and I've repeated the steps a few times because instead of you watching the video a few times, it should be okay. And thanks for watching, guys, and I uh, can't wait to bring you the next installment of my books.